Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC, as you can see in this given diagram, such that the hypotenuse of this uh, triangle uh, is uh, 365 units. And furthermore, uh, bear in mind that all the sides of this uh, triangle are going to be the positive integers. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's make an observation. We know the only info that has been given to us uh, is uh, that this hypotenuse is uh, 365. Whereas uh, these uh, two legs are uh, unknown. And since we are interested uh, in calculating the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area is always equal to a half times uh, base times the height of the triangle. And we know this side is the base of this triangle. Whereas uh, the height is uh, this leg. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this leg and this leg as well before we could calculate the area of this triangle and furthermore bear in mind that all these uh, sides uh, are supposed to be the positive integers in other words the positive whole numbers and now let's talk about the primitive uh, pythagorean triplets and the primitive pythagorean triplets uh, have no common uh, divisor other than uh, one and here are the examples of uh, the primitive Pythagorean triplets. In the first example, uh, 3, 4, 5, they have nothing in common. Likewise, uh, in 5, 12, and 13, they have nothing in common other than 1. And finally, in this uh, last example, 11, 60, and 61, they have uh, no common divisor other than uh, 1. And now in this uh, next step, I am going to come up with the rule so that we could figure out uh, these uh, two unknown sides. And here's the formula that we'll be using. The hypotenuse is always equal to p square plus 1 all over 2. Let's fo focus on this uh, first example. Let's assume that this uh, first number is uh, our p. Then our hypotenuse is going to become, uh, I'm going to write down p, which is uh, 3. So this become 3 square and then plus 1 all over 2. And now 3 square is 9 plus 1 is going to make 10. So therefore uh, the hypotenuse is going to become 10 divided by 2. And that is going to be equal to 5. So therefore our hypotenuse indeed turns out to be 5. And now let's focus on this uh, another example. I'm going to call this uh, 5 uh, as uh, our point P. Then the hypotenuse uh, is going to be simply our P is 5 square plus 1 and then divided by 2. And now we know that 5 square is 25 plus 1 is going to make uh, 26 uh, divided by 2 and that is going to be equal to 13. So thus the hypotenuse uh, turns out to be 13 and we can see this hypotenuse is indeed a 13. And now let's focus on this uh, last example. Let's assume that this 11 is our point uh, P. Then the hypotenuse is going to be 11 square and then plus 1 all over 2. And now we know that 11 square is 121 plus 1 divided by 2. And that is going to give us 122 divided by 2. And that is going to be equal to 61. So therefore, the hypotenuse is going to be equal to 61. And now we can see indeed our hypotenuse is 61. And now let's assume that this uh, leg is our P and we know our hypotenuse is 365. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So our hypotenuse is uh, 365 
65 is going to be equal to b square plus 1 divided by 2. And now I am going to multiply both sides by 2 to remove this uh, fraction. I am going to multiply the left hand side uh, by 2 as well. So therefore uh, 2 times 365 is going to give us 730 equals to and here 2 and 2 cancels out. So we are ended up with uh, p square plus 1. And now I'm going to subtract uh, 1 from both uh, sides. And here we can see this uh, positive 1 and negative 1 cancels out. So therefore, p square value turns out to be 729. And now I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking the square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, our p value turns out to be equal to 27. So thus our this leg uh, turns out to be 27 units. And now I am going to label uh, this uh, leg BC as uh, X. And now we are going to find the value of X uh, as well. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle ABC. And here is our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is 365, whereas our two other legs are uh, x uh, and 27. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, x uh, square plus uh, 27 square is going to be equal to 365 square. Let's simplify. That is going to give us uh, x square plus uh, 729 is going to be equal to 365 square is going to be 133 to 25 and now I'm going to subtract 729 from both sides this is gone so therefore x square value turns out to be equal to 132 for 96 and now we are going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides so therefore we could see that our uh, x value simply turns out to be 364 so thus our uh, this leg uh, bc value turns out to be 364 and now we can see that all these uh, sides uh, of this triangle ABC are indeed uh, our positive integers. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate uh, the area of this triangle ABC. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula once again. Area equals to a half time base uh, times the height. So therefore uh, the area of this triangle uh, ABC is going to be a half uh, times our base uh, is uh, this uh, 364. I'm going to write down 364 times the height uh, is uh, 27. And if we multiply and simplify the right hand side, the area of this uh, triangle turns out to be 4914 square. Uh, units. So thus the area of this triangle ABC turns out to be 4914 square units. In other words uh, the area of this uh, triangle is going to be 4914 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.